I'm sure you've noticed how when God does something in some life, it's far more bizarre and unbelievable than, you know, than what we can imagine or think. This testimony today, this young man, a mountain man in Nepal, Nadra, has had an amazing experience with God, and you're just going to have to listen to it from him. Death comes to us all. Nedra has seen death's swift approach on a day that began like any other in Kathmandu, Nepal. But culminated in an event that would reshape his family and community. All my life, my parents worshipped Hindu gods and were heavily involved in witchcraft. Every year, all my relatives would gather at the temple to participate in an elaborate Hindu ceremony. I would participate as well, but one year during the ceremony, I fell ill. My family sent for the witch doctor. As the witch doctor attended to the young Hindu man, Nedra's body began deteriorating rapidly. As the witch doctor was attending to me, I developed severe chest pains. My legs become numb and I couldn't walk. I was paralyzed. I couldn't eat anything. Nedra's mysterious illness continued to ravage his body until his brother finally brought him to a hospital in Kathmandu. When we arrived at the hospital, the doctors couldn't diagnose my illness, so my brother had no choice but to take me home. At that time, our friends and neighbors began saying I was going to die. One night, all of my family gathered around me, just waiting for me to die. There was a clock of death hanging over the room. As I lay there, I could feel my spirit leaving my body. My breath was fading, my eyes became dark, my heartbeat slowed. I pleaded with the people around me to take care of my children. My ears went deaf. I knew this was my last moment, that I was going to die. I was terrified, so I spoke in my heart, Lord, 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 please save me. Then suddenly my body received new strength and I opened my eyes. I could see and hear the people crying around me. So I spoke to my brother to go and get any Christian he could find to come and pray for me. Nedra's brother called the pastor of the church in their village. And as the pastor prayed, his body regained some strength, enough to keep death at bay. I felt more strength coming into my body, but I still couldn't walk. The next day, the pastor carried me to church. I remained there for 14 days until I started to eat and was able to stand. After a month, my family came to visit me at the church. While we were praying, I stood up and begin walking for the first time since I had visited the witch doctor. My family was there and they saw this incredible miracle. We marveled at all the miracles we've seen at the hands of God. That day, we all gave our lives to Jesus Christ. 
God healed me. After my healing, I started to preach the gospel message and I shared my testimony with many people in my village. But everyone said I'd gone crazy. I was shunned and avoided. I asked the pastor if he could send me somewhere to be properly trained to preach the gospel with power so people wouldn't just think I am crazy. He sent me to Victory Bible Training Center in Kathmandu. And now that I've graduated, I'm working with my pastor at the church in my village. Together we share the gospel and preach the goodness of Jesus Christ to all who will listen. I don't know about you, but that testimony shakes me to the foundations of my faith. But also to see that God can do anything. I mean, amazing things. It doesn't matter what you're facing today. It's not too hard for God to come with an amazing, almost unbelievable miracle like that. And so we release that to you today in Jesus' name. And make sure that you come back next week for more Great Commission action from this side of the continuum.